and they do take so we can take with the pawn or we can take with the knight the knight would then be attacking the pawn but then it can just drop but if it did drop then we could go here so they don't have to do that if we take with the pawn queen's got access to our queen again the pawn is kind of isolated at the minute it could get support with this pawn here which one is the better one taking with the pawn take with the knight the pawn is protected by the king I'm going to just take with the pawn there's no rush we do have aspects of that and that but the queen is protected what do we want to do next get the bishop out but it has to be out for a reason could be just supporting the pawn trying to give the king a bit of company on the diagonal I think developing is um, a key thing rather than rushing with anything else so I think we'll go with the bishop coming here looking to give the king some company and manage the diagonal like we've just said queen's out attacking the b pawn just basically bring the rook here just supporting the pawn we push here we know the queen's coming down attacking the knight but they're not developing any of the other pieces so they're losing tempo that way so i'm going to just bring the rook facing the queen just taking time trying to get nice position not setting the world alight with any explosive attacks or anything nice steady basic pieces are out the bishop doesn't have anything protecting it so this is why we're potentially thinking of bringing it here so the queen is still hunting here it's also hunting the pawn but it, the pawn is protected quite a few times so their king hasn't got castled yet we could just bring the rook here just supporting maybe they're thinking the knight's going to get put some pressure on maybe the bishop's coming out going to start leaning this way lots of maybes cuds woods and stuff let's go there mm -hmm. going to bring the rook facing the king and they're moving dead quick now so are they getting impatient looks like the pawn's going to be hitting the um, knight so we could push this pawn here suppose if we do they do push down we take the queens then trying to bolster some sort of attack here yep so they're going for it so we'll just take not doing anything um out of the ordinary the knight can come now and attack the queen i think that's probably a better maneuver and rook could go and attack the queen which is nice rooks don't have any place in the center of the board as we say unless of course it's to your benefit and this is squishing the queen a bit the queen can come here it's not going to feel very comfortable it's not going to drop here it's not going to drop here it's not going to go there and it could just go back here so it's got two places that it can go to and also it can go back as well fair enough so we will bring the rook attacking the queen because it feels like it's to our benefit for that brief moment and as we can see they haven't got any other pieces developed the knights out obviously but they've gone to this square here moving dead quick which gives the knight the opportunity to maybe attack the queen but the knight doesn't have any protection oh it does actually the, the rook is protected is this queen making its way in to do some devastation doesn't look like it that square can't get onto the king just yet so i'm going to hit the queen so they can escape into the corner they can go here they've dropped here the rook is protecting if they forget themselves we can take the queen if the queen takes the knight that's the only viable reason i would think that they would do that so i'm going to bring the queen bishop attacking the queen again hopefully making them lose tempo 
in terms of not developing any of the other pieces. So they've gone back with the queen. Don't think there's any more pressure we can put onto the queen. It's on a white square. Knight can come here. Not doing any, any devastation at the moment. Could always just come back again. But there's nothing that can hit it apart from the dark square bishop. What is the plan of action? Which is the stronger maneuver? I'm eyeing this up, but we don't have many pieces that can go there. I mean, the knight can attack their knight. But this pawn is being protected by the rook at the minute. So the queen's not going to take. So we could attack their knight, bishop takes. What's this pawn looking to do? They do that, we do on pass on. Queen's got this here. So I don't want to get arty, I want to get practical. Bringing the knight off the rim, bringing it back over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like they're starting to flicker, so they may be getting impatient. So I'm going to bring the knight here as a, I'm going to say a solid attack on a piece. They don't have to take, but they've moved quickly, take coming for the pawn type thing. So we're going to take and then take and then we can get their rook off the board with the bishop, but I, I was just thinking going there, but he's got two pieces protecting. Because we've got the bishop x-raying through to the rook. Do we bring the rook into the center or do we bring it back? Or do we bring it for a two on one here or we're going to get trapped? We bring the rook here. Their rook moves down or goes back. Then we can bring the dark square bishop to attack the burn pawn. With a check on the king. Yep, yeah, does that sound right? That might be getting too arty for myself. I'm just thinking this feels fairly comfortable because they've not developed their pieces, but I'm, oh, they've left it. So we'll take the rook. Potential for a check on the king here with the bishop. Potential with the queen. Developing another piece. So I've gone quiet now, waiting to see what they're going to do. So we could go with the check on the king. King comes here. Bishop comes here with the check on the king. Starts running across. Or do we just go with the bishop with the check on the king? No, I think we'll go with the queen, putting the check on the king. Go on to a white square, so the queen can come across here. The rook can come across here even. I think we're going to bring the rook across because the queen is covering that square. He does have many pieces that can defend. Sorry, the knight and the bishop. So we can bring the knight here because the queen is protecting, so attacking the bishop. We could attack their queen with the bishop. Don't really want to send it anywhere because he's probably going to come here, but then the queen can take. I think we'll, ooh, before we do that, he's got a fork there, we'll be giving a piece up for nothing. Let's bring the knight here, try and keep it simple. So we've got a two on one, he's, he is protecting with the knight. Is there a way of getting to this bishop here and trying to go this way? If we do that, the knight gets taken, so we have to be very careful about the move order of things. Okay, so they've moved. I'm going to take. I'm going to take. Knight comes here, it's going to be protecting the bishop. But then we do have the bishop coming here, x raying through to their king.
they've blocked, but the bishop can still take the pawn with the x-ray through to the king. And then there's space here for the queen to come in. Obviously, they're going to escape here. But we've got three pieces on this pawn. And they've gone already. All right, so we've got two pieces on here. So we can take with the rook. That gets their queen off the board because of the x-ray through to the king. A bit of a monster attack really, isn't it? Let's just take. Then we can put a check on their king. Don't want to think I'm getting arty, but we can put a check on the king. But he does have an x-ray through. So the king can just move here. Then he's got a two on one. But then I suppose the queen can just come here. Yeah, I think that might work for us. Let's go here with the check on the king. And they've not done that, so we can not go there. Bring the queen off of the line. Back in the pawn. Bring the queen off of the line. I'm trying not to get pieces taken off the board. So I've got a check on the king here. Could have actually moved that there then. So we'll put the check on the king with the bishop. And then squeeze the king. I don't think there's much. Squeeze the king. Don't think this bishop can go there, can it? Well, the queen queen can go here. That must be it, mustn't it? No, he still can go in the corner, so the bishop can come across. So we put the check, and then the bishop can come here. And it's still not checkmate, because... Oh, it is, because he can't move. There we go. Okay. It's a respect of taking time, patience, and not going crazy with any types of maneuvers and looking after simple things as the pawns because they're great in the grand scheme of things. Okay, so this opponent has gone crazy, so we've got to treat that as well. They're disrespecting their pieces. But because they're disrespecting, doesn't mean it's not workable. Yep, that's the key thing to remember. Bring the king back. I did that in the last game, I dragged and it just made the move. And I hadn't actually placed it there. I've got to be mindful of that situation. Small pawn move attacking the knight. See if it's going to be disappearing. And there is a school of thought of bringing the king here to here to here. Doesn't have a dark square bishop. It does have a queen. Could x-ray through. Maybe bring the bishop back. And here, to try and give the king some company and then start moving the king. Maybe even get this knight out before we start moving the king. Or are we going to be too slow? Probably too slow because I think they're just going to hammer down these pawns. Or maybe just sit the bishop here because they're just going to ram these down, aren't they? So the plan of action is to get the king on the other side of the rook, if we can. But we don't want to lose bad, you know, lose position because we're trying to get the king to safety. This knight can come in here and go here. I think we can... Let's get the knight out first, as we mentioned. I think we've got time to do that. Now they're maybe looking to come here. Well, I think now we can start moving the king across. It's the plan of action. Yeah, so these pawns are going to start ramping down, aren't they? Whilst we're trying to fashion going across here. I think we... 
I think we continue. I think we continue. Let's have a look at this now. Don't want to mess any pawns up. Let's just steady away. Can we do our own attack on their king? That's what I'm thinking. Start pushing pawns. Knight's probably jumping in here, maybe. If we continue with this. Bang, bang. Oh, that gets opened up. I don't think it's as bad as I'm thinking, you know. Let's go with it. I'm going to keep flowing with it. We know they're coming down. Yeah, so if we take, but then this it's got his knight, I suppose, putting the check on. King's not really coming here, is it? Hmm. We don't have to take, that's the key thing. We could still move the rook, but then they take. Then we take. And the queen goes behind. Then we can push the pawn, I suppose. That's when the knight comes in again. Hmm. I'm still thinking it's okay, but um, we can't move really because he's on the knight. So can the knight just move to the side? And then they take, take. I'm going to move the knight to the side. Something is telling me it's not as bad. We're going to look like we're taking loads of punishment and I'm sure we can survive it. I've got to trust in my instincts on this. They take, so we could just sit and hide behind their pawn. Because now their pawn is just blocked. So we could treat that as one of our pawns and just push this pawn up. So there's no more continuation of their attack rather than us opening this up and giving it giving the lead to them in a sense. So I'm gonna push past. Yeah, so he's still going for it, but he's attacking his own pawn. So maybe they're coming attacking our bishop because he's got support with his knight as well. We bring the knight here, but obviously we lose the pawn. We are plus one in those terms, but we have got more material because they sacrificed a piece. They disrespected their pieces. Right, so we can now start moving the rook out of the way, can't we? Anything else? Could just bring this pawn here just to stop the knight from coming there but their whole focal point is on attacking our king area could bring the knight back i don't really see there's any warrant for that could bring the bishop here it's attacking the pawn but the bishop's defending white square bishop mm, they're going to be putting loads of people onto this pawn out there white square bishop is doing a good job defending that pawn Knight. Nope. Knight. Nothing clear. Nothing clear. So they're going to be putting loads of pressure on this pawn. Might as well bring this um, rook here. We've got four minutes. We're just weathering the storm. Not sure what the delay is because I'm going to throw all the armor onto this pawn. Move the king. That means they've run out of ideas, which is good, I suppose, for us. How do we. We don't have anything. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We can push pawns. I'm going to push this pawn up. Whilst they're thinking of whatever they're thinking of. So the knight is in, puts the check on. We did say that was going to potentially happen. We could take, but then obviously the knight moves. And then he gets our queen. And is that still the case anyway? Oh my god, it is. 
So we're going to have to take because the knight is going to get a fork on our queen. And there's no exchange of the queen, so the queen can move just to the side, supporting the bishop, supporting the potential attack on there. But still plus one for us. And the knight's in, so the bishop can take, but it is taking support away from here. I don't think we need to worry too much. I'm going to take the knight. Bishop's done a good job. And we can now start bringing the knight here, or we can start looking to attack on get a better position. So if we can start maybe bringing the rook across it. Oh, don't forget this pawn. Don't disrespect your pawns, dude. Support them pawns. Okay, so potentially idea here. So it's just keeping the bishop in here locked in. We do have knight being able to come here and start exploding if possible. All right, so let's bring the rook across. Can't do the exchanges with the queen because the bishop's there. But like we said, potentially getting the knight in a little bit, maybe trying to disturb some areas. We're on three minutes, they're on seven. So they can take their time. We have to hurry it up a bit now in the blitz zone. So it looks like we did circumvent this um the attack. I'm going to bring the knight here, attacking their pawn, obviously is just going to push here. But it gives them something to think about. Now we've got them moving a little bit slower. And they've not protected their pawns, so they're disrespecting their pawns, and we're trying to respect pawns. I'm just making sure that we're not falling into anything, so we'll take. And then maybe jump in here, baiting the bishop to take. Try and get the queens off the board if we can. So we are going to still bring the knight up. See if the bishop's taking or not. The knight's not really doing anything as it can come round and attack the bishop. It does take, so we'll go and see if there's a queen exchange going on. Because we are up a minor p oh, so we may as well take with the knight and attack the rook. Oh right, so we can put pressure onto the rook. The rook's obviously going to come here. But do we double the rooks up first? And double the rooks up first. Not in any rush to take this pawn, it's acting as a nice blocker for us. Going to double the rooks. There's no rush. Positionally, it seems okay for us. The reason I'm wanting to try and get that is to then attack the rook. If the rook then does come, then at least we can take. If he does take, we take and we're supporting the knight. That's my rationale. Am I disrespecting my pawns? No, because if he takes, we push. So I'm going to attack the rook like we planned. So because we've got two on here, we can take the pawn and take, unless I'm missing something, and we can take. 
And now might be the time we can take this pawn. Yep, let's take. And he's making his way around, he's going to come for the pawns. Am I disrespecting my pawn position? Maybe if we push past. And then that pawn's going to be happy. So we can push here now. The king's going to rush over here. Well, come around the side, try and get the pawn. And the rook. We do have a knight. And we do have an attack on the king. On the rook, sorry. So the king's not coming here. And it can't come here to support. So the rook's probably going back. Which gives the space to push the pawn up. With a check on the king. And um, we'll take that one for free then. Thank you very much. Slow incremental pressure. Oh, nice one. Yeah, this type of opening gets me a bit squinchy. It's like... The manager in the centre, and then they're going to be hitting our knight. Knight has to dance all over the place. Which one do you take? When we do evaluations of these things, we always find the answer. But then when we're actually in the game like now, I'm going, which one do I take? I'm going to take the poison palm with the knight. Take it out of the equation. Then I'm going to put a check on the king baiting the pawn. I'm going to take the bishop off the board just to try and cause some sort of situation this pawn is being disrespected so i'm going to take this knight and i'm going to take this pawn because it's got oh but we bring the queen here i was just about to say we lose the knight because he's ready to push the pawn down right okay so castle and bring the rook here Supporting the queen, then we can move the knight somewhere. Obviously, we're not moving it here because the queen has got support. Probably give the king some company. Don't have to rush to do that though. I could make some space for the bishop. Get the bishop ready. So we can take the bishop, obviously the queen is going to take, not going to isolate the pawn. Oh, and they've isolated the pawn. Another disrespected pawn. This we're trying to avoid doing that, and they've disrespected a third pawn, because that can now be taken, and now this pawn is under threat. So we can take, but just make sure that our position's good position's gonna be good. We might be falling into something. I'm gonna take. Coming for a back ranker. Special times. Let's go here with the king. Still coming for it. We're gonna get time to be able to bring the bishop here. King's on the white square, We've got dark squared bishop. So even though they've disrespected their pawns, they're basically, oh, they're disrespecting the knight. We take, take with the rook, we don't have to take with the bishop. They're thinking the rook comes here, we take, take, take. I'm actually going to take with the bishop. It's attacking the pawns, so it's trying to recoup pawns. We can push up, but then obviously the bishop is going to be here. We can push this, but then he can come across a little bit and attack this pawn. I'm trying to be happy for my pawns and work them. I can take his pawn, he takes. Do I have to give my pawn up? Is this one of those situations? Um, It might be a case of me having to give the pawn up. Well, we can save it first, can't we? Attempt, anyway. 
So I'll move it out of the way, but then does he try and do this um, rook round the back thing? But the bishop's protecting here, so that's not going to work. So he is coming for this pawn, but we can protect it by moving the bishop and taking this pawn because the rook is attacking here. And the bishop is still managing this square if it's wanting to come down here. Yep, so we'll take because the rook is protecting the pawn. Definitely just trying to improve my care of my pawns. Like we said, the bishop has got this diagonal here, so maybe they're not seeing that yet. But he does have this pawn, which the rook could have taken if he was looking to snap pawns up. So I couldn't protect, protect everything, could I? I went greedy munching before. I should have pushed this pawn and then gone for a munch. Sorry pawn, I let you down. So push here. We're given that we've been given that moment to save you. But really we did lose that pawn. So we can take here to keep that pressure up well, keep defending this pawn here. And it looks like we're just trading down now. I probably didn't need to take then, I wasn't even looking. I wasn't even looking. Okay, could attack the rook, but He's going to be taking, well, I wasn't going to take because obviously he was going to be taking the pawn. We're practicing respecting the pawn, so probably this pawn push here. Okay, that was an interesting game, pawn protection. Ten and do. Let's kick in some old school way of thinking, simple chess. Support the knight. Back the pawn. Bring the bishop out for castling space. Let's castle. I think I wanted to move the knight really, but I didn't really want to keep it on the rim because he does have this. Mm -hmm. Let's push this pawn and then just leave her on to the bishop. We take in the meantime. They're not taking with the knight, so they're wanting the pawn management in the center. Let's hit the bishop. We can still do it, but they're choosing not to. Where do we want to go? We know the pawn's coming down, but we can easily move the knight here, so we can wait for that. Something's telling me they're coming for some sort of cheapness, but uh, and if they get the knight there, so if we go here, they bring the knight here, attacking the pawn twice. Bring this, then he's hitting the pawn bishop, and they get the pawn. So we might as well do a small pawn move to stop that off. Queen's moved. Got space for the knight, it's not really doing anything. Bring the rook facing the queen.
But they are attacking, so may as well take the pawn. It's a piece for a piece in a sense. We can move the knight. Don't need to overthink that. And again, probably don't need to overthink this. They are hitting a piece for a piece. So simple pawn take. Let's have a check on the king. We can take and the queen can take the bishop. Queen puts a check on the king. Our dark square bishop can go anywhere because we have a check on theirs on their queen. move it into the corner to get the queen because if the bishop takes and obviously the rook takes so we could move the bishop out of the way and just block and x-ray through to the queen which currently doesn't have any protection So they're snapping up pieces, wanting to make space for something to attack the king. So if we take that square diagonal, queen's not coming here because it'll get taken. Unless of course the rook's taken, but then the pawn's still defending. The knight coming in. Or do we just simply take with the rook because we're on their queen and on the bishop? Going to take because we're on the queen, on the bishop. Bishop's probably just taking because they've had enough. I suppose to, not to defend the queen first. Oh, it's gone there. It's not defending the bishop. Not going to take the queen, is it? The bishop, sorry. What is this knight? Magical knight coming here. And, uh, oh yeah, magical knight. But the queen can take, can't it? It jumps there. And the knight can take. Okay, so the knight can take. Let's try to get this diagonal here. Trying to go here, but that seems all long winded. Take simple capture. Attack the queen.
Means move back, can attack the queen again with the bishop. Attack the pawn. Bishop's got no protection. And to attack the queen again. Bishop's got no. Oh, what that would just say? The bishop's got no protection. I'll just give him the piece back. Oh, so stupid. Hey, yay, hey, hey. yay. We'll have to go and grab a pawn up here, won't we? Oh, scandalous. Just said it as well. Take on the rook. Knight has moved, so we are going to take the knight with the bishop. And take the queen off the board. And attack the rook. Coming for a back rank mate. Still going to continue with this move for now. Still coming for the back rank mate. Bring the knight here. Pawns pushing down.
Pretty smooth game, apart from giving up the bishop, which didn't really harm us, but we've got to practice not giving the pieces up, although the position was still okay after it.